Our school is such a beautiful school. Our green gardens, our endless haddocks, our super fun playground, and our tennis court. And also places where we can sit with our friends. As beautiful as it is here at Torreira, there's some things that make our school not so beautiful, and that's waste. All around the world, people are starting to take this waste problem seriously. According to the ABC TV show, War on Waste, every year the waste we generate is growing at twice the rate of our population. One billion plastic water bottles are bought in Australia every year, and only 20% of that is recycled. This plastic either ends up in our grounds or in our oceans, which will affect our marine life. That's our country, but what about our school? Our class did some dirty work and went through our bins. This is what we found out. Our two biggest offenders were food waste and soft plastics. Over 50% of the waste was soft plastics. In one day, that's over 200 pieces of soft plastics at our school. This can't be recycled. Over 35% of this was food waste, including whole sandwiches and whole apples. 5% of the waste could have been recycled and 1% was other waste. As soft plastics are our biggest problem, we have decided to tackle it first. We use soft plastics to cover our food. This includes chip packets, cling wrap, fruit bars, most things that we have in our lunchbox. It even includes the plastic around the straws and the straws on poppers. We generally use this plastic for a short amount of time before we throw it away. This is called single-use plastic. It's time for a change. Our dream for Terrera is to stop using soft plastics altogether. To start us off, in week nine, we are bringing in a waste-free Wednesday. This means no soft plastics. The first thing we can do is pack a healthier lunchbox. Do you know most fruit and veggies have their own natural packaging? We don't even need plastic to cover them. Not only will this help our environment, but we can become fit and healthy too. The second option is to use reusable containers. Unlike single-use plastic, these can be washed and reused every day. You can buy bigger packs of chips or crackers to fill up your containers with. You can even have a sandwich or salad without using plastic as well. All of this will greatly reduce the amount of soft plastic we use at our school and starts off for our waste-free Wednesday. On Wednesday, we'll be checking people's lunch boxes to see how we're going. The class that produces the least amount of waste will get a reward with the principal. If you need any help or advice on how to pack a waste-free lunchbox, feel free to go to the school's website. Our school is a beautiful place, but imagine how much more beautiful it would be if we had your help.